I started covering national politics when I was an intern at the Village Voice in the fall of 2007. And then this dropped on my lap in November, the announcement. Since then, I've been able to go to New Hampshire, cover the presidential primary there, use the Converge newsroom in Dempster Hall, cover Super Tuesday primaries live, use the Chronicle as an, a, an avenue to go to both national conventions and blog from there. And now to have this happen right now, during the heat of the pres <coughs> presidential race, dreams could never be this good. Um, working for CNN, um, just help uh, like just helping out anyone that's here, um, any of the reporters that come, or any of the production staff, just helping them out with whatever they need. And then also on Wednesday night, the night of the debate, I'll be right in the debate hall uh, being a VIP escort. I still can't believe that the debate is here and it's happening. Um, I'm a photographer for the debate through the Commission on Presidential Debates, and it is extremely exciting and a great opportunity to meet other people from the news media. And this morning I've been running around doing behind the scenes photography and getting to see how it's all done and I'm extremely excited for Wednesday. It's going to be an experience I won't forget. There are six uh, main networks and um, a ton of affiliates from the local stations. Uh, there's also the ABC pool truck. So we're trying to basically connect our students with all six of those networks, plus the pool truck, plus the affiliates. So they're getting a real eye opener. Uh, there's also some um, networks. MSNBC is doing the uh, Chris Matthews hardball show uh, outside of the secure area. So um, there's some opportunities uh, for students over there as well. The Brian Lehrer show is going to be here, uh, radio. And and um, Sirius Satellite Radio also, so there's quite a lot of opportunities for the students. It's, it's really cool to um, see everything come together. Um, and with all the Educate 08 events, there's been a lot of buildup and a lot of information out there um, leading up to this big day. And it's, it's going to be a great opportunity to get Hofstra's name on the national level. For me personally, it has brought so many events here that I really got myself get involved on campus as well as the other students here at Hofstra. Um, so I think that this is really great and I'm looking very much forward to the debate. I am being a production assistant for the Commission of Presidential Debates. So I'm pretty much right here on the floor and uh, it's pretty much, it's very, very exciting. I've been here for 15 years and by far this is the most impressive uh, event Hofstra has ever hosted. Um, the media people here, um, the lights, the cameras, knowing that um, the man who's going to be the next president of the United States is going to be on stage behind us, knowing that 50 million homes are going to be tuned in, and learning about not just the candidates, but also a little bit about Hofstra University is really overwhelming. The next couple days, I'm a production assistant for uh, Fox News, and just to be a part of this is great. I'm, I'm a senior, I'm graduating, so to go out with something like this and also be able to put on your resume, like, presidential debate, not a lot of people are going to be able to say the same thing, so... I, it's an opportunity I couldn't pass up. For me, just to be outside in the parking lot with all the network trucks and helping out wherever I can, just to see the atmosphere that we're in is is one of a kind. I probably I may never see it again. And I saw Bill Clinton speak here freshman year, and I jumped at that opportunity. And when this came, I didn't hesitate at all to apply, and I'm happy I did. This really could be one of the most important elections, if not the most important election of my lifetime. And to have this huge event, the third debate, three weeks before the election here, and to have Hofstra, the center of the world, is really um, just, you know, overwhelming. Um, I think it's going to be a great event, just not just for the American people, but also for Hofstra. I think when people see Hofstra on TV, people read about Hofstra in the newspaper, they're going to want to come here. And I think it's going to increase enthusiasm of prospective students and also of people who, like me, who are here on campus every day.